Hey guys, it's uh, me, Noah Waldman, games writer, I guess, for Tech Pounce. And uh, <clears throat> this is the uh, Nintendo Direct pre E3 2012 live stream. I'll shut up until I have, I mean, until I'm actually reacting to something, uh, and let Mr. Awada speak. <clears throat> Here it comes. And its new controller in a more conceptual sense. In this room in 2008, we began discussing what we should do with Wii U to meet our goal of creating something unique. And here is one of the topics involved in our discussion. Maybe. So, uh, not much actually happening yet, I guess. This is only supposed to be half an hour long. I wonder when he's actually going to get to the games. That's what we're all here for, I bet. But, you know, look at the bright side, at least they're getting it out here instead of at their E3 presentation, right? New technologies in general have made life easier and more efficient. But we have to wonder what this will mean for the nature of human relationships moving forward. So, one of the challenges we set for ourselves was creating something that would help unite people rather than divide them. Uniting whether in the same room or great distances apart. And this was a tool we devised to help accomplish that. It is a controller for Wii U and it's called the Wii U Gamepad. Ooh, fancy name. Let me tell you how we decided on the name. <laughs> because it was a gamepad for the Wii U? We began setting a home console known in Japan as the Famicom and in America as the Nintendo Entertainment System or NES. The controllers for previous game platforms typically had a joystick of some sort, but the NES had only a flat surface with the class control pad. Because of this, players began referring to it as a game pad. Ooh. <laughs> In any case, we decided that this name also made sense to describe the appearance of the Wii U controller, even though it now also featured two stick type devices. This is probably the most obvious difference. Okay, cool. So they're showing the transition. Last year. Seems wider. That previous version had circle pads for thumb control. But we decided that this format was really more appropriate for portable devices where a low profile form factor is important. Instead, here we have incorporated sticks that not only operate precisely in 360 degrees, but which also can be pushed down for an added method of control. Oh, wow. In addition, this push, I don't know whether they turn it or it just pushes really far in. The back of the controller and the bottom layer to maximize comfort, even if you are playing for a long period of time. A couple more things. This mark 
to the left of the screen is the location for the NFC reader writer. You can place cards or figures on this, and relevant data will be read or written into your experience. That's really cool. This button can be pressed even when the Wii U itself is not activated. With the existing remote or your current Wii, you can simply turn on or turn off the game console. Beyond that, you need your TVs or a cable remote. But with Wii U, the gamepad itself becomes a fully independent infrared TV remote. I wonder if they'll Next, integrate that with just overall universal remote control features, because that could be really that interesting. The Wii U gamepad makes possible. Last year at E3, we talked about the potential of two screens. Of course, many people already operate the two screens of the both Nintendo DS and Nintendo 3DS. But with we you two screens become more dynamic because the relationship between them is not fixed. Secondly, the two screens make possible something engineers refer to as asymmetric diversity in gameplay. In simpler terms, what is being seen or even done on the small gamepad screen is different from What's happening on the big screen TV? We'll be showing you what this means for gameplay at E3 this week. I'm starting to wonder if they're going to show any games here, or if it's going to be this. Because honestly, this is kind of boring. You can use to draw pictures or use your finger for the usual range of intuitive inputs. What is more unusual is how the two screens can work together in unprecedented ways. This kind of gaming feels unique. The Wii U gamepad. Is it just me or does Awada look incredibly incom uncomfortable? In front of, is it like all rigid and this stiff? This is particularly and... important for people somewhat unfamiliar with gaming. By using more intuitive motions to control a game, players of all skill levels can better play together. And of course, which seems like a continuation of what they were trying to do with the Wii. Because of the improved graphics processing power of the hardware, something you recognize beginning at the E3 presentation on Tuesday. Also, they're going to give us any stats, that, maybe. No? With a okay. screen in your own hands, you don't need to be sitting directly in front of your TV. You might also find yourself in any comfortable spot anywhere in the living room. As we mentioned last year, sometimes you can continue playing on the gamepad even when the TV screen is being used for something else. This might occur with more casual games when you are in the middle of your Wii Fit routine or when you intend to spend many hours deeply immersed in your game and others aren't willing to let you have the TV to yourself for all that time. And in any of these situations, not only will you see high quality console graphics on the big screen TV, but those images can be displayed on the Wii U gamepad without delay, something no existing handheld game devices can do. Wii U will support all your previous forms of Wii control, including the Wii remote, the nunchuck controller, and the Wii balance board. That's pretty For cool. You don't have to go out and buy four new controllers. Platform games with more traditional means of control. We will also offer oh, wow. a new Pro Controller 
as a separate peripheral. That looks really cool. Pointed, it's a really like well-designed controller. It looks like it mixes the classic controller for the Wii and uh, like a 360 okay. type shape. And with the triggers and everything. That's a really good controller, actually. Oh, what? What's happening? Uh oh. What's this? Something entirely different. I think maybe. No, but that, that is a very impressive uh, gamepad unto itself. I'm going to pick one of those up. <laughs> 2006. We changed the way friends and family interacted in the living room. One way we thought about this was turning the living room into a kind of playground. And that play could also be expanded to distant locations. While many Wii games were single player, probably the most memorable experiences came when people would play together. Today, Wii U does what we did only better. And at the same time, it is also something entirely new. Not only can it connect people in a better way within the same living room, but it also connects people living room to living room. Oh, so now explore the online options. More competing way. Cool. By this point, I think maybe it's better to show you Finally. an example rather than continuing to explain. And in the spirit of creating something unique, I think maybe the following is not what you normally imagine when you hear the term uh -oh. game video. Whoa, oh no, zombies, oh boy. zombies are after me. Oh, 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 you won't think I'm so tasty after this food sandwich. Oh, oh this is so oh, bad okay. already. All right, zombie boss, you're going down. Oh god, this is terrible. Let's this is already terrible. Door. Oh, why did I think that would work? Am I the bullets? Uh, my bear trap is useless. Is this an actual game, though? Is this, like, a That's game wrong. reveal? No, no, no. Because, like, oh, it, man, like a Resident man. Evil Wii U game reveal, maybe? If I don't beat this zombie boss, I'm going to end up talking to myself like a crazy person. Right, non-specific action figure? <laughs> that was actually pretty good. What is my mood? Is complete despair an option? S.O.S. Any clue how to beat the scary zombie that breaks down doors? Post. Alright, maybe these comments by peeps in the same situation is Oh, oh that's really so cool. What do I do? Boo hoo. I almost lost the in game message board. Monster. I thought I almost had a heart attack when he burst in. That's actually a really natural. good idea. You know what I mean. Tab, tab, tab. This is Todd, the non killing oh, and zombie it, killer. Wow. Knock knock, who's there? A polite zombie doesn't just break down doors when he wants to come in. In fact, he calls first. I'm kidding, it's me, Warren. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's actually cool. In game message well, boards that could be viewed mobily. That's really B. cool. Don't worry, I'll be able soon to help you beat those games as per usual. Order. Um, actually, I think my buddy OctoG123 has it figured out. Guess I have all the help I need here, Warren. So, you don't need me anymore? Uh, no, see ya. I'm so sad. Excuse me, miss. Miss, I, I, I noticed you're drinking coffee also. Coffee drinkers have a lot in common. All right, Octo G one two three. Let's see if your plan works. Your scanner reveals pockets of antibodies located on the zombie swollen glands. Gross. Let's do this. Back to game. All right, come on, come on, come on. Swollen gland. What am I even looking for? Get, no, get away! Oh, it didn't work. I'm gonna call Octo G one two three and get to the bottom of this. Okay, okay, come on. Come on, come on, pick up. Oh, man. That's really cool. The internet integration they have there. That makes me uncomfortable. Says the guy who talks to an action figure. That's, this is really cool, though. The online thing they got going on here. Have you upgraded your scanner ding-dong? No, I didn't 
didn't do that. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Octo G. Uh, of course. What are best friends for? I am your best friend, right? Yeah, you're my best friend. <laughs> this... up his ears. Gotta go. Bye. Okay, this is this isn't entirely uh, terrible. I promise. To I mean, tell the, the skit us. thing. Okay, updating scanner. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, there it is. Yes. Okay, zombie boss, the old one who's gonna fight is you. Yes. Okay. That that was actually really cool. So it seems like you have in-game message board ask type FAQ type stuff, and you can just immediately directly video chat with 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 that. That's really cool. That's incredibly impressive, actually. So it took about, what are we, almost 15 minutes in, it took that, um, no, or past 15 minutes. Yeah, it took over 15 minutes, but, uh, I think finally I worth it, this, uh, direct thing. Different. It's really cool. I you liked it. Yes, I did, Mr. Alada. At the end, I think you saw a lot of me characters come out, saying different things and milling about them. That was the Wii U menu that oh. you see when the system is first powered on. Our development teams have been calling this Mi Wara Wara since <laughs> early in development. In Japanese, Translated, please. we use the term Wara Wara to describe this kind of gathering. Roughly translated, it refers to the general noise and commotion created by such a crowd. Oh. The me's so like Ballyhoo or something. Are not random. You and me will be there, along with every person who has an account on your own Wii U system. In addition, your friends are there. And finally, also in the scene are people from your country or who speak wow. language who are also playing the games represented by the tile. That is really cool. The speech bubbles. Nintendo's going like full on with the internet thing after the Wii U, the, the Wii showing on the internet is kind of lacking. That's th this is all incredibly Wii impressive. Game, the Wii U gamepad in your hands will have a familiar lineup of icons for games and built-in applications. So the but system has its own message boards and forums and stuff that, players around the world that is really really cool i don't think i could overstate that you may not even <coughs> the me characters gather around the games they are playing and the views of the wii u gamepad and tv are interchangeable what's going on here is what we call neighbors Clearly, this is a word we've invented. Clearly. A way to describe a me universe. I'm glad that needed a spelling out, Mr. Alada. Me's from around the world can meet and connect. But but that is a it's really a cool idea. It's a really cool network. That is as native to Wii U as is the Wii U gamepad. This plaza scene is the first thing displayed on the TV when you turn on your Wii U. Miiverse can also be activated anytime during your game without the need to terminate play. Certainly, the idea of a video game network is not new. So let me focus on a few of the elements that we feel make Miiverse distinctive. In typical fashion, communication between the me's can occur with simple text messaging. However, we believe the touchpad on the Wii U gamepad will make some difference. Not only does the touch screen make the typing simpler, but you also may find that this screen right in your hand makes reading messages easier. Maybe I'm not the only person
person who sometimes finds it difficult to read the channel guide on the TV from across the room. Meavers also makes it simple to communicate with handwritten notes. So it's online crypto chat. As technology has advanced, handwritten messages have declined. But if you used Flipnote Studio or Swapnote, you understand that what you physically write or draw can naturally convey stronger feelings than what you simply type. And also, with helping in games, you can draw maps and stuff too. You can even it it add seems incredibly image useful. Facial expression to help communicate your emotions. Means have access to a wide menu of rich content, including the ability to post screenshots from their own gameplay. Oh, wow. And even transmit game content they have created themselves, which can then be added to others' gameplay. All it's really of cool. This aspect of Neighbors, I'm saying really I cool a lot, aren't I? A native to the Make Wii that U what you will. Platform and can be accessed by all games directly from the home button. Are they going to show any course, games or? Game developers okay, so got a uh, new Super Mario Wii U. It looks like. Directly in the games, if they so desire, and they already have many ideas. Oh wow! While we will work to prevent spoilers that Aww. might detract from your game experience, the purpose of Neighbors is to add not only information but also a new degree of empathy between players. Furthermore, Neighbors does not require the use of your big screen. In fact, we consider the small screen on the Wii U gamepad itself as a social window, fully capable of linking player to player, living room to living room, bedroom to bathroom, kitchen to basement. Space. By this, I mean that not only does Wii U offer players a way to connect across great distance, but they can also enjoy a sense of connection <coughs> even when they are not playing at the same time. Of course, just as with we, players will be able to compete with others online, but with the neighbors, even in a single player game, even where players are not competing or cooperating at the same time, even when the games are not designed for online interaction. Even when the games are not even being played. Connect your living room with those of others. That is... Regardless in, of space the whole online thing time. so far is incredibly impressive. Whole online Wii U suite. the key components of Miiverse are browser-based, these social connections will eventually be possible outside your home, away from the Wii U itself. We won't offer this immediately at launch, but later, Miibas will be available from your Nintendo 3DS, your PC, so, or any web-enabled mobile device. That is really cool, and then you could have 3DS, Previous Wii U, PC we integration. We expect several generations of Nintendo hardware will be linked by the Nintendo network. In a similar way, the social elements of Miiverse are also designed for Wii U, Nintendo 3DS, and future Nintendo devices. Let me close with one more thought. In 2006, I first talked about the three conceptual pillars which could be altered by Wii. First, the relationship between the family and the game machine. Second, the relationship between the game machine and the TV. And third, the relationship between the TV and the internet. 
The Wii U gamepad makes each of these connections even richer. That because the second screen on the Wii U gamepad can perform different functions, even at times independent of Wii U itself. We showed video chat functionality as well, but there is also an internet browser that allows you to share what you are browsing on the personal screen in your hands with others in living room using the television. <laughs> oh no, not you my porn, it's on the big screen now. Read text on the small screen in your hands, and when watching the videos and photos with everyone, you show content separately on the TV screen. Normally, the browser screen would show the same thing on both the Wii U gamepad screen and the TV, but you can close a curtain over the TV screen so the content can't be seen until you open the curtain, adding some entertainment elements to browsing itself. This is another feature. It seems a bit extraneous if you already have a PC, though. Creation of Miiverse was done with the same thought in mind. But no, it is really cool. Oh, everything else. Said by Mr. Miyamoto, well known around the world as the father of many franchises, such as Mario and Zelda. His belief is that a great idea solved the multiple problems at the same time. We believe this describes the Wii U gamepad. It is an idea that has the potential to solve several of the problems Wii U was designed to address. We believe it can help solve the issue of alone together. We believe it enables the sharing of more smiles, more laughs, and more empathy. This whether at home or connected to the homes of your friends. We believe that six years ago, we introduced a new form of together. If there's a way to describe we you in a similar sense, it's this. Together, better. Even when you are playing by yourself, the Amoebas can connect you with your friends, family, and other players around the world who are playing the same game you are. Even with no one else in the room, you won't feel alone. And perhaps most of all, we believe we you remain true to the promise of Doxo. We hope when you experience it firsthand, you will agree that it represents the creation of something unique. We have a busy week ahead, including our on stage E3 presentation, when we'll continue to focus our attention on Wii U. But don't worry, we also have plenty of news about Nintendo 3DS to deliver during other upcoming opportunities. So, no 3DS so during E3? Thank time with us today. It would make and sense if they want to, you know, do a full push for the Wii U. All through E3 on Nintendo's official Twitter account. And I hope you'll be able to join us to follow our E3 presentation on Tuesday when we'll begin giving you concrete examples of video game experiences you've never had before. Thanks again. So that was the Nintendo Direct pre E3 2012 uh, presentation. Started off a bit boring. Um, as you saw, there weren't any uh, game reveals or anything like that. Um, but just to recap, seems we got a lot, a lot of information about um, Wii U online internet structure and the types of uh, functions it would have. 
Um, it seems like you have in-game persistent communication uh, with other Wii U's throughout the world, um, or at least countries that speak a similar language, uh, Awada said. Um, and they could provide, there's video chat, there's text chat, um, you write down, uh, it's not just type text, it's written text. Uh, which, of course, can be very versatile, um, all while in-game, which is, I think, incredibly impressive, opens a lot of possibilities for uh, online gaming, online communication uh, in regards to gaming. And overall, um, even though the overall thing was kind of bland, just a lot of talking, uh, what they did show in the skit that was surprisingly funny at Bits um, really psyched me up, I guess. Um, especially compared to uh, the online functionality that just the Wii had, which was admittedly, as a Nintendo fan, incredibly lackluster compared to what you would see on a PSN or Xbox Live, and of course uh, on PC. Um, really, step Nintendo is really stepping up their online game and really uh, trying to become this unique um, online presence, and what they're doing uh, with the Wii U seems to be heading in that direction uh, very strongly. And so I can't wait uh, for their E3 presentation on Tuesday. And uh, please join me uh, covering that uh, from the Nintendo World Store in New York City. I'll be with everyone else in the store. Uh, they are doing a uh, stream of the, con of the press conference. Uh, I went last year. There were a lot of people there. All of us were screaming at the Wii U uh, reveal. It was all really cool. I'll be with a couple friends, hopefully. Uh, who, like People I know personally uh, will be given our commentary and our reactions to it, just like I have uh, here. So if you enjoyed it, please tune into that. Or, well, I'll upload it to the blog. And, um, yeah. Really excited by what this little tease has, uh, has done. And I hope you are, too. And, like I said, can't wait for the Wii U presentation. Uh, the Nintendo E3 presentation, which will be on Tuesday. Uh, which I'll record um, my reactions to at the Nintendo World Store in New York City. So I've been Noah Waldman, games writer for Tech Pounce. This has been Nintendo Direct Pre-3 2012. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Goodbye.